let's create some UTM links so you know the exact posts and ads that are actually driving new email signups and actually driving new sales. So timestamps below, along with a link to check out our free UTM builder, more on that in a moment. So first let's go ahead and talk about why on earth should we go through the process of making these overly complex and really convoluted tracking links. So inside of Google Analytics, you need to use Universal by the way, because Google Analytics 4 will not give you this information. We'll go ahead and click on Acquisition and Campaigns. We'll get to creating the links. We just wanna show you why this is so important. And when you click on Campaigns here, you can see over the past week, these are all of the people who've clicked a link related to our particular offers. And so you don't get this kind of information unless you set up tracking links. So if I were to click on SGA Google Ads Copywriter here, I can see that 15 of the link, click 15 of our visits came from YouTube Organic, three came from our blog. Now this is where it gets really cool. If we go type in ad and click on add content, all of a sudden we'll be able to see the exact YouTube videos and the exact page from our blog that people found this particular offer. And once you start setting up some advanced conversion tracking, you'll actually be able to see the revenue by video post, right? So now I know video F18, which I'll show you in a little bit here, is responsible for driving $120 in sales. Now, this is only possible because you are creating tracking links. And so now let's go ahead and talk about what the heck a UTM link is and why on earth you should make a link that looks something like this. So we'll go ahead and color code it here and then we'll break it down by steps. So the first part of this tracking link is going to be your source. And this is where your traffic is coming from. Is it coming from YouTube? Is it coming from a blog? Is it coming from Google search? And then Medium tells us how that traffic is coming to you. So for example, let's say you have some YouTube ads, right? Well, we want to know if someone came from YouTube because of an ad or someone came from YouTube because it was just an organic video post. And so that's what Medium tells us, is how people are coming to our website, whereas Source can actually be the same and have multiple mediums. Next, you have campaign name, and this is something you're going to come up with yourself. I'll show you the naming convention that we use for all of our funnels to stay organized. Term, this is something you're pretty much not gonna use <laughs> unless you're doing Google search ads, in which case Google's going to do it automatically for you. And then finally, we have the arguably the most important part of this entire tracking process, and that is the ad content. And so when you type in a specific code for each one of your videos, your blog posts, your ads, that's how you can get so detailed that you know this video is driving revenue or this blog post is getting us email signups. So we'll go through exactly how to create these links. The good news is you don't need any coding experience whatsoever to use these. So now that we've seen what we can do inside of analytics, once we have these set up and the different elements, let's go ahead and jump into actually building one. So again, you can go over to Google and just search for their free UTM builder and you can do the exact same process. I'm going to use our free tool here because it's going to allow you to save all of your different presets for your URLs because nothing is retroactive. So make sure you name the same thing, name things the same thing every single time. So now let's go through an actual example of promoting a page and creating a UTM link and dropping it into the description of a YouTube video. So here is the page that I want to promote. We'll just go ahead and promote the <laughs> offer that we're talking about for this video. So when you click the link in the description to check out our UTM builder, this is the exact process we went through for creating that link. So I'll come over to our free builder here. And when we come down to the bottom, you'll see that we already have a medium and campaign set up. So. Let's say we hadn't typed this in yet. I'll go ahead and type in UTM Builder and call it 2.0, and then I'll give it a three-letter code. Now, the reason I recommend using a three-letter code for your campaign tracking is because nothing is retroactive. So if I went ahead and created a, another campaign or I was creating a link later on down the road, and let's say I spelled Builder wrong for some reason, Google Analytics will segment these as two campaigns and there will never be any way, shape or form to combine that data in the future. So using three letter codes like this and using drop down menus as you're about to see is a great way to make sure that everyone who is creating UTM links always uses the exact same naming conventions. So we'll come up here and I've grabbed the URL from this page 
and I'll go ahead and drop it in here. And then for the source, we're going to be sharing this on a YouTube video. Specifically, we'll create one for one of our older UTM uh, videos here. So I'll go ahead and just select YouTube. Now in the drop down menu, you can select whatever your source is. And of course, you can always add more sources if you wanted to. Now for our medium, this is going to be organic because we're not running any sort of ads. If we were running YouTube ads to, for this, then we could go ahead and say that, or maybe we were running some display remarketing ads to everyone who's shown interest in Google Analytics. But in this particular instance, we're just sharing it in a video. For the campaign name, of course, you can use whatever naming convention you want. I'm going to go ahead and just say UTM. And then for the term, we're going to go ahead and delete that. I don't like using terms. Uh, this is something that you can decide for yourself in the future. It can just make your data really, really messy. And then for content, let's say this particular video is F18, right? And so you can go ahead and give your videos codes, whatever you want, or you could just say V1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and just go on from there, right? I tend to be really OCD with our naming. So I'll jump over to YouTube here and I'll click on edit video. And I'm going to want to drop this link in the description. So you can see here, there's already a link here, and this is actually M150. So I'll change that to M150. And the way I know that is because we use, uh, we put the video code at the beginning of every file name. So it's just easy for everyone to remember. And then all you need to do to promote this new offer is copy this URL and then go to where you want to share it. Oops, go to where you want to share it and then paste it in, right? And of course now it's telling me my description is way too long. That's okay. And then you could go ahead and save it. And now anytime someone clicks on this link and goes to this page, it will tell Google Analytics all of this information, that it, they came from YouTube, that it was organic, and that it's for this particular campaign, and it was this particular video. And since we already have a tracking link in here, I'll go ahead and delete our example and save just so I don't mess anything up. And that's all there is to it to creating tracking links. And so now every time someone clicks that link, it tells Google Analytics that when they hit this page from that link, that they came from YouTube, that it's an organic search, that the traffic belongs to the UTM campaign or UTM builder campaign. And then that the video that sent it was M150. Now I can hop back over to analytics and in the future, as long as you make a URL, every time you share it, wherever you're sharing your URLs from, that data will be organized the way it's supposed to in here. So here's another example. Let's go to SFO, right? So if I click on our funnel organizer, we've had five people from our blog and 43 people from different YouTube videos over the past couple weeks here. So I can come in here and I can type in add content. And when I do, I'll be able to see the individual videos that this traffic is coming from. So as you can see, M, whatever M141 and F14 are, those are performing the best. So we could go look at those videos and I could compare M141 and F14 to say F40 or Q4 and then see, okay, well, why are these videos driving traffic where these other ones are not? And so if we're trying to figure out how do we get more people to our site? How do we get more people to sign up? This is how you can easily begin to figure this out. And then writing ads and creating content becomes incredibly simple and straightforward because the data tells you, these are the types of videos you should make if you want more people to join your email list or if you want to make more sales. And of course, you can also change the date ranges so you can see over a longer, longer period of time. And even if you only have a couple of clicks or a couple of views, whatever your content or ad strategy is, these add up over time. So I highly recommend going through this process and using a tool like ours or creating your own so that it's very easy for you to quickly create these links. Now, as cool as it is being able to see all this information, I totally understand the fact that it is really tedious to set all of these links up every single time you want to promote or share something. And so that's where the new tab in our UTM builder comes in. This is the exact same kind of formula and structure we use to make sure everything that goes out from us has a tracking link installed. And because you standardize everything, no one accidentally makes a misspelling or makes something uppercase when it should have been lowercase because Google Analytics is case sensitive as well. So inside here, you have source, 
medium, campaign name, and common terms and content ID. And so once you set this up for yourself, anyone who is on your team and they, when they use this, they'll use the drop down menus at the top, and this ensures that no one uses the wrong source, the wrong medium, or the wrong campaign name. So here's what we would do if we were creating this from scratch. I'd come into this tool and I'd give our funnel a three letter code and I'd call the campaign the UTM Builder Pro. I'd go ahead and drop in the URL. And then something else that I really like doing is having a call to action already set up. So let's say we want, and this is gonna make perfect sense in a moment, and let's just say next level automation. So now what happens is when myself or someone on the team wants to promote it, all I need to do is type in DTM and then the source would be YouTube, organic, or let's say we're sending out an email, right? So we're sending out an email, uh, we're sending out a broadcast here. Now the term is going to be left blank because it's an email and let's say this is gonna be email 455, right? <laughs> and then the formula will automatically look up what the proper URL is there. I just forgot to click false instead of true. And so if I come over here, now I can go ahead and click, and this is our properly formatted tracking link that automatically makes everything lowercase. If you are using a link shortener, something that we used to do in the past, this would tell us what to name the link short, the short link, and then also the short link formula. And then if I want to share this in a YouTube video, I just copy the quick share and I come back over to my video and I drop this in here. And now I have some context around what the link is. So it says download the tracking playbook, next level automation. And if we come back in here, that's what line one and line two are. So the formula automatically puts an opening and a closing call to action. If I only wanted one and I just wanna say tracking playbook download, then I could go ahead and just copy that link with that emoji and call to action. And so that is how we make sure that we track everything and that we don't make it a super arduous process for everyone on our team when it comes to tracking. So make sure you check out the link in the description to our UTM builder. And of course, you can always just use the free one by going to Google and searching Google free UTM builder. So thank you so much for watching. Sincerely hope you have a much better picture and understanding of the power of UTM and what you can do with it, whether you use our tool or not. So hit that like button, subscribe for more marketing videos just like this one. And until the next, keep building the business you love.